What's going on guys? Just made it to Utah. Um, I'll checked into the hotel. I got all my stuff ready to go shed hunt tomorrow. <laughs> Meeting up with my boy Eric Chesser. Um, this is something I've actually wanted to do for quite a while now and just always found it hard to find the time to do it. So this year I, I made it a point and a goal that I was going to come out here and, and do this with Eric. Um, out here in Utah, so I'm excited as hell. I gotta, get, I think I'm getting about four hours of sleep. Where I gotta get up about 3:30, which is about 2:30 my time. Um, I think that's always my biggest struggle with any type of hunting um, or doing anything fishing, anything like that, is the sleep. I love my sleep, but um, it's always worth it. Once you're up and out there and hiking through the hills and um, just outside, it's it always it's it's always fine. But like I said, I got all my stuff ready. I got my uh, Kuyu pack all loaded up. I got some rain gear and stuff in there. Um, got my boots, got some uh, pants, and got my fins and feathers gear, obviously. Got to be sporting that. I got to meet at Eric's about 4, 4.15, and then I got about a two-hour drive to where we're going to go. So uh, we're going to pray to the, the shed gods tonight, and hopefully we can get into them tomorrow. So we'll see. Stay tuned. All right, I just made it to Big E's house. What's up? We're in the boneyard. We're, we're touching some bone, getting some good luck. Show Chad exactly what it is we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so pumped. I'm bummed. I uh, I had to get an Uber this morning because um, I had a rental car. And uh, Abby has to drive it back for me to the airport today to turn it in. And uh, halfway here in the Uber, I realized I still had the key in my pocket. So to flip around the Uber, go all the way back, drop it off, and then head here. So running a little behind because of me but i think we're gonna have some good luck today what do you guys think you guys excited oh yeah <laughs> i can't wait let's go see what we can find <laughs> got a little pit stop in stop at the mavericks we don't have these things out in cali so it's always awesome stopping here b matt got his crispy creams don't judge his, his mountain do not, energy do not judge me biggie do you get <laughs> you get a for real mix, milkshake no what dude you yeah. got me hooked on those. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was addicted to for reals for a while, but I cut it out on January 1st. Why? Why would you do such a horrible, wretched thing? I don't know. It's my birthday. I think I'm thinking about getting one on the way back. Nice. All right. We'll celebrate. We're going to find some We need to find a bunch of bone, and then we'll come back and celebrate with some for reals. Uh, how far out do you think we are still? Uh, an hour. All right. We're an Is hour that a out. Hush Life hat next door to us? Yeah, those kids came over and got it. Nice. <laughs> Some guys next to us. Probably, they say they're going shed hunting? Yeah. Rocking the Hush Life gear over there. That's you, I see you. Yeah, they were stoked. All right, we are here finally. A little late because of me, but we made it. There's a few other trucks already all parked in here, but just saw a bunch of deer running up the hill, so I think I'm headed that way. Got I'm gonna pack all set. B Max first time shed hunting. I didn't know that. It's my first time doing it out here in Utah. So. Couple noobs. Yeah, we got we got the gonna, noobs here. We're gonna dominate Eric. Oh, yeah. You guys are going down. <laughs> you guys might, man. Like the the luck. Bridget just, over here, all set. Of not knowing where to go is sometimes the best. I think I know where to go, and sometimes that's the worst. Really? Well, I'm just gonna start walking. <laughs> I'm just gonna start walking until I uh, kick one, hopefully. Yeah, you pretty much <laughs> have to in this weather. Look, yeah. We got snow, fresh new snow. Yeah, the snow's definitely not ideal, but we're going to make the best of it. So I'm excited. Let's go find some stuff. Woo! Here we go. Shed Warriors going Let's to work. <laughs> I'm already looking. This snow doesn't help nothing. Dude. No, it's dude. Tough, For sure. It's all right, though. We're going to make the best of it. And won't be like mentally thinking guys have been everywhere yeah that track, that's true well we know there was bulls here once check out that rub looks like a damn good area this snow just really is making it tough but just gotta keep after it. we've only been in into our trip about 30 minutes so <laughs> talk to Big E he hadn't found anything either but I think we're, we're getting close. I can feel it down deep in my loins. Well, we just went up to, I don't know if you guys can see that top up there, and it basically is a big bowl and wraps around. Eric just went up and around, and I went up through there and then cut over. 
neither one of us really found much. So I don't think Beam actually found anything either. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is maybe start working our way down to the lower country. Just wanted to check these high spots and just see um, what it was looking like, but so far nada. All right guys, we got the first shed of the season and uh, this is my first uh, elk shed that I've found by myself. So came up under this, it's all tucked in this uh, real thick oak up under the cedar. I mean, it looks like we got a little five. Let's see what he is. Not real big, but first one of the year. I'm pumped. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Uh, not bad. Well, let's uh, start circling around here and uh, see if we can maybe find a match. I don't know, it's pretty small, but you never know. I'm gonna get strapped up and start circling. Just cut some cat tracks. Don't like seeing that. My biggest fear is this getting attacked from behind by a big mountain. pretty thick in here well just about back to the truck now holy hell we put some miles in I mean, it's safe to say we got our butt butts kicked today and Bridget did pretty good she found a big deadhead I think he's a nice four point call the DNR uh, he let her take it um, I just got that one elk antler that I found and not another since. Didn't run into another. I ran into another guy, really cool guy, who had also found one. Looked like a shed from last year as well. But uh, we jumped multiple bulls, and all the bulls are still uh, holding on to their, their rack. So, man, it's just crazy. It is uh, beginning of April, and they're still, all of them pretty much are still holding on. So, um, I don't know what the game plan is, but I think Eric. He's already at the truck. I'm uh, pretty wore out. I need some sustenance. I'm about to eat some uh, some of my jerky and probably, I don't know, chug a bunch of water and see what the plan is, but I gotta figure out where this guy is. I know he's close to here. Let's go find him. You got us off the skunk. I know, man. That was rough. That was a lot of miles. Yeah. It's a lot of boot tracks in there, too. Boot tracks over there, huh? That we're not supposed to be there. <laughs> That's Let's what that guy said. Check it. Oh, yeah. oh he's a monster. <laughs> uh, where's Bridget? She's down, she's coming this way. I can't wait to see that buck. Yeah, she's got a dead head and a deer shed. Nice. All right. Once again, Bridget just face crushing everybody. <laughs> Does she usually just punk us or what? <sighs> she just gets after it. We're over here napping. <laughs> Uh, I'm joining you. Oh, oh, oh. I wouldn't trade this for any shed. Right <laughs> <laughs> this does feel pretty damn good. Look at this stud. <laughs> no, no big deal. <laughs> Just gonna punk us all. That was like right out of the gate, too. Look at that. Solid. Anna Brown? That was funny when you found that on the radio. That is nice. He's cool, huh? Yeah. You gotta see his bases. Still gnarly, huh? Is he gonna come check that? He or... already did. Oh, nice. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he gave me Talk the go ahead. Him. He said it's a cougar kill. Nice job. What did he base that off? The nose? Yeah. The head and no body. Oh. That is awesome. He's okay. cool, huh? Heck yeah. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah, they're so cool. His eye guards are really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, awesome. He got mobbed. So many of oh, size. No. Back in the days. Times have changed, huh? Yeah, he we used to too. just get a backpack of that and then go get a milkshake. <laughs> Just get some frills. That's that's about yeah. That's yeah, we grew up right here holding. Oh, right. Yeah. We're actually hunted this bull this year. This one? Mm-hmm. Were you trying to kill him? We tried to with the guy. Yeah. 
Dang, late season or early season? Early. Uh, was it early? Yeah, it was early. It's my monster. <laughs> you found that? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Hey, at least it's a shark. I know, we didn't get skunked. That's good. Man, that's, oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, isn't he cool? I was yeah. freaking out. I was so happy he let yes. me take it. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Know where to face it? And so we're just starting to get in some really, really good elk country. We are p finding piles and piles, even beds, good trails going through. And uh, looks to be maybe a couple weeks old, which is perfect, right when they would have started shedding. So I'm gonna basically skirt this edge of this finger and work all the way down to the bottom. Hopefully we can find some, it's looking good. This is a day that goes down in history as being the first day that I found an elk set side by side. So pumped right now. <laughs> yes. This is awesome. They're not the biggest, but oh, that is so cool. First set ever. Nice. <laughs> so pumped. Let me pull these bad boys out. Oh. Came walking around here, I don't know what it was. Something just told me to go around this big patch of oak, the scrub brush behind me, walking out. I looked to the right and boom, stopped me in my tracks. Right there on that little, there's just a little opening right there. It looked like he probably caught, caught him on this uh, brush above and popped them off right next to each other. So awesome. That's what we do it for right there. This is my first time ever coming out to Utah, like I said earlier, and this is uh, this is super fun. I'm not finding a lot today, but that right there just made this entire trip. I could probably not find another antler and be pumped. Be good. Yeah! <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't have my pack with me, damn it. I'm gonna have to carry these things out. Woo! Well, we didn't get skunked. Eric, what do you think, bro? <laughs> so wide. <laughs> so wide, so much mass. Everything's so long. It's nothing weak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad uh, you found some. Oh, uh, no, dude. I had like. I was no getting hope. down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. After I didn't find any, I was like, I don't find any. <laughs> Bridget's beautiful dead head. Yeah, that thing is that. awesome. Cool. I love that. Get that all cleaned up. Yeah, I'm excited. Her brownie. Brownies. <laughs> Love five it. Five-point machine, Chad. The five-point. That's machine. right. I don't know what it is, man. I'm just drawn to the tiny bulls. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it just won't leave me alone. That's cool. You found both. Yeah. Nice. My first set, dude. First set. Other than the one that me and you found, but I didn't really find those. You did. <laughs> That's awesome. It is time to go refuel. I am exhausted and hungry. It's a good day, though. <laughs> We're gonna get after it tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Get after tomorrow. Another day, another dollar. Oh yeah. All right, let's go grab. Them.